Hi, it's Jeannie from Jeannie's Favorite Products. So I actually have received a few boxes from Box lately, but um, I've been too lazy to do unboxing videos for them because um, I've had no motivation to do them. I've been procrastinating a lot and I do have other things on my mind. And so I've been too, yeah, too lazy to do them because they said that they're no longer shipping to um, Hong Kong anymore. And so that's really bad news. I mean, What's the point of doing these unboxing videos if I can't buy them anymore? I mean, it feels like I'm just advertising for Mimi Box, but um, yeah, if they're not going to ship them to me anymore, then why advertise more for them? Yeah, but yeah. Anyways, um, Mimi Box unboxings, well, it's a habit. I do unboxings for all of the products that I buy. So yeah, today I'm finally going to do unboxing videos for the two boxes that I've received. Um, I don't know if I'll actually get on to doing that one, but I will do this one first. And um, yeah, let's get unboxing. So this box feels quite heavy and it is the Mimi Box January Box. This is also Mimi Box Global number 19. Um, this was the last one of the bundle that I, was, that I purchased earlier on. Um, yeah, so this is my last Global Box ever. <sighs> Okay, so let's get on with it. So this box contains seven products, which is not too bad because a lot of other boxes contain five products nowadays. So the first product that I received is the, um, the Chote Aurora Pearl Base 30 ml. It is this one here with a very uh, shiny packaging. This multitasking primer creates a picture-perfect complexion with micro-light deflectors that catch and reflect light. It has a non-overbearing pearlescent light pink base that highlights sculpts and adds volume to the contours for a subtly gradient glow. And rich with peppermint extract, lemon balm and more natural ingredients, this skin perfecter hydrates skin and locks in moisture, brightens and brightens the overall complexion and gives a natural lit from within glow for the look of perfect skin. So um, the way to use it is after you finish with your skincare routine, take three to four pumps of this primer and spread it evenly over your face to perfect the skin. Use it alone for a natural finish, use it under makeup or perfect looking skin, or even mix it with your favorite foundation for a dewy finish. Okay, so it looks like this. Um, I don't think you can see it by camera, but um, it does look very pearly. Like it's not like a white, a flat white color. It is more of like a pearly kind of look. Um, I have used like a pearly kind of base product before from Misha. Um, I did really like that. Um, it did give my face a glow, but because I don't actually normally put on makeup and so I kind of, that went to waste. But um, yeah, this looks quite interesting. And it does come with like a, a top that you can push out. Um, yeah, the one that I received from Misha was actually more like a toothpaste kind of tube. Um, you can't really, it's really hard to control how much you squeeze out sometimes. But um, this one, I'm guessing one pump should be like enough for like your face if you're going to mix it with some other product. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be using this because I don't really put on makeup, but um, it would help if I added it to my normal like daytime kind of finish. I mean, I think you can still use it like normally, like daily, um, even if you're not putting on makeup. It just gives your face a glow if you're kind of feeling really dull that day. Yeah. So, I uh, don't know about that, but uh, it does kind of feel interesting, right? Um, yeah. The second product that I received is the Secret Nature Moringa C Toner 130ml, which is this one here. It is quite heavy and it does feel quite big. This gentle toner clarifies and hydrates the skin with moringa seed extract, hibiscus flower extract, fermented lotus flower and purified water to immediately soothe irritated skin, hydrate and lock in moisture in cells and removes makeup residue after cleansing. Powerfully natural ingredients in the, na in the formula revitalizes stressed skin and preps the skin for the next step in skin care. So you, um, you use it after you cleanse your skin. You soak a garden pad with toner and you gently wipe it all over your face. You proceed with moisturizer after toner has completely absorbed into the skin. Um, so it is a toner, but because it does have fermented lotus flower, I don't know if I will have any skin reactions to it. Um, I mean, I have used other fermented products before, but then there were just specific products that I used, which made my face really, really itchy. 
I'm allergic to penicillin, so um, I don't know if that has any effect. But um, yeah, so this is a toner. Um, I wonder if it has any smell. It looks quite pretty. Like the lid has like a golden piece on top, which is really pretty. Mm. You have to open it before you can smell it. That's kind of stupid because I was smelling it just half. It does smell like lotus, which is quite nice actually. Um, so I hope I can use it. I don't know if I can. It has a really tight lid, so it's really safe. Yeah, I hope I can use it, but um, yeah. But I think I will try it on my hand first because I am a little wary. I don't really want to have any irritations on my face anymore. I had a really, really, really bad experience with the Wheat Germ 97 Essence. Um, that made my face really, really, really itchy and red. And um, I tried to soothe it with aloe vera and um, it didn't help. And the only thing that helped was just taking medicine. And so, yeah, I don't really want that to happen. Um, yeah, and the other product that I used that made my face kind of itchy was the Wonder Serum. No, I, I, I'm really going to be aware when I use these products. Because I don't want anything bad to happen to my face anymore. But yeah, really, it, it does smell like Lotus, so I would be interested to use it, but I think I will try it somewhere else first. I will have to patch test it first. Hmm. Then the third product of this box is the Pure Plus Atai... I don't know how, how do, however do you pronounce A-C-A-I. Um, is it Akai? Maybe Akai. Akai Berry Magic Bubble Cleansing Foam ATML. So I did receive an Akai Berry uh, shower? No. Shampoo. Shampoo in my previous box. I haven't used it yet, but um, I should get around to it soon. Um, this one is, this one here. It feels really light, although it's 80 grams. Um, this skin perfecting blend of acai berry and other super berries work with multi fruit acids to leave skin supple and refreshingly clean. Antioxidant rich fruit blends mildly yet effectively remove makeup and impurities, increases collagen production, and restores elasticity for a fresh for a fresh face vibrance. Apply cleanser liberally to the face and massage into the skin. Rinse with warm water and pat dry. So. Uh, Akai Berry kind of reminds me of the O2 Berry, uh, that cleanser which was in the Luffy box number 5, and I didn't really like that one, but I don't know, maybe it's different, oh I can't smell it, oh I can still smell it, although it's sealed, it smells very clean, <laughs> no it smells kind of like a berry, uh, it's not really strong berry, but um, you can kind of smell it's like a cleanser, I don't know how to describe it, um, the smell is okay, it's not that bad. Um, I think I will give that a try, but it will have to wait because I have a lot of cleansers to get through first. Then the fourth product in this box is the Mimi Lawrence Beauty Lesson Hand Cream, 50 grams. Um, you will get one which is randomly selected from Rosé Fleur Aromatic, Citrus and Exotique. And the one that I received is the green one, which is the Aromatic Citrus Extra Hand Cream number 2. This one here. Uh, give your hands some love and care with these delectably scented, luxurious hand creams, each enriched with macadamia seed oil. It uses the same formula as eye creams to give concentrated doses of moisture and anti-wrinkling effects. Hands and nails feel soft and moisturized with three beautiful fragrances. Three beautiful fragrances for your senses to enjoy: romantic, floral, zesty citrus, and sultry musk. Use a small amount of cream and apply onto the hands and nails. Reapply as necessary. So, let's see if I can smell it. Oh, again it's sealed. This one I can smell. It is kind of lemony. Hmm. Kind of smells the same as the Akai Berry. Maybe the, the smell kind of went through from product to product. Oh, I don't know about that one. I have a lot of hand creams to get through first. I, I'm not like a very big fan of hand creams unless I, I really really need it um, yeah my mother-in-law gave me like a box full of Crabtree and Evelyn hand creams I mean they're really small size it's really convenient to put in my handbag but I haven't even gotten through one yet and I have 12 and so uh, those will have to wait or I can just give them away yeah and then number five is the Aesthetic House Vitamin 3000 Vitamin C Vita Capsule Cream 30ml I believe it's this one 
I don't know why it's open already. Uh, yeah, it was already open and squished when I when I saw it. Okay, so it looks like this. I would have thought this is actually like a hair product, but I don't know. It could look like an eye cream, but it is just a cream capsule. So this brightening vitamin C cream helps reduce and refine the appearance of pores. Ooh, and lighten and fade dark spots and pigmentation. Perfect. This innovative encapsulation technology allows for an effective delivery of pure potent vitamin C ingredients. Layer individually or blend with moisturizer to provide optimal results and create a powerful multi-purpose product designed to treat your skin's unique needs. So on cleansed and toned skin, apply cream over dark spots and problem areas. Mix a small amount with favorite skincare daily for optimal results. Oh, perfect. Oh, sorry, I was kind of looking at this product, the next product. How come there is a bottle, but there's no bottle inside my box? Okay, so anyways, I'm back to this one here. Um, yeah, this will be really good. I am interested. Because when I first read this part, when I was like, oh, pores, refine the appearance of pores. And then when I was reading lichen and fade dark spots and pigmentation, second, if it really works, then it's like, Oh, so I am definitely very interested to use this cream here. Um, let's see, can you smell it? Okay, so it squeezes out like this, kind of like an eye cream really. Doesn't really have a smell. And it's very silky. Oh, yeah, it doesn't really have a smell. It kind of reminds me of some yogurt drink, but yeah, anyway. Um, yeah, it's very silky and yeah, it's kind of absorbed already and I don't know what to say because there aren't any pores on my hand but it feels really silky and I really hope it works that's all I have to say about this product and then um, this product is syndrome cosmetic pouch sample so unfortunately it's a pouch sample I was like wow there are seven products but apparently they're not um, what they called this as one product like really seriously they called this as one product This is so gay. Okay. No offense. Not being rude. But, um, because it is very misleading, because inside or on this card, it shows that there is supposed to be one bottle and one tube of product. So I was looking everywhere inside my box for that bottle and that tube, but only to find four little packets of these little things here. So you get, um, CB revitalizing fermentation essence one gram times two. So what? Two grams is like one product? I mean in global boxes we are expected to receive samples but they are like deluxe samples not pouch samples. So two grams is really disappointing. Seriously? Two grams? Okay one gram each of the essence is considered as one product and then the seventh product is the syndrome cosmetic pouch sample cb cream gold one gram times two sad okay so let me read what um, the product is, is actually the cb revitalizing fermentation essence which is one uh, the full size product is 100 grams and they couldn't even provide you with like at least 20 grams they gave us like two grams it's like seriously so this revitalizing fermentation essence is a must-have staple for maintaining healthy skin it is formulated with anti-aging bifida and skin repairing galactomyces to help maintain the skin's natural renewal cycle to its optimal condition to allow skin nourishment it also works to balance the skin so combination skin will never bother you again so after cleansing the skin, gently pat the face and neck with a cotton pad soaked with the starting treating es treatment essence and then you use this day and night. So, hmm, so you use this as a toner or as an essence? In the instructions, it tells you to use it in place of the toner. But with a real, like with an essence, you can use it as a toner or the second step after the toner. Up to you. Maybe we can try it both ways. But yeah, I'm just really disappointed how they can consider this as like one product. 
Okay, and this is the second product, which is also the last product in this box. This is a CB Green Gold, one gram times two. The full size product is 35 ml, so this doesn't seem too bad because the full size is 35 ml. But seriously, this one, the full size was 100 grams and they gave us like two grams? Anyways, this cream, this miraculous facial cream visibly freshens the skin tone instantaneously. It whitens and brightens the face so that you can look fresh faced and dazzling anytime. No need to wash off the product from your skin because it also acts as a moisturizer to lock in moisture all throughout the day while also providing anti-wrinkling effects. So you apply to areas of your face that you want to lighten and brighten after cleansing. Apply liberally everywhere, or well, it says anywhere, anywhere and massage until fully absorbed. Well, it feels like quite an okay product. But then I have tried the Oro Gold uh, cream that they gave me. It was like a sample too. Um, I received it free. Uh, it was really thick for my skin. It was just completely not for me. Um, I mean, I'm getting old, but I'm not that old, I guess. Um, yeah, apparently that cream was just really thick. I mean, it felt really nice when I put it on, but then apparently in the morning, my face was just really, really, really oily. and my pores were really really big and a lot of oil had kind of stuck to my nose it wasn't good it was just really too much for my skin and then I started breaking out um yeah so I don't know how this will feel I hope it's not that thick so uh, back to this box um so there were actually five products in this box plus some samples I would say um I would say it's quite an okay box um except for the two sample products uh, yeah because um i mean the pearl base is like a makeup thing so this box contained products for which were cosmetics and then it also contained a toner a cleanser a hand cream for the hands and also a treatment kind of cream for refining pores and um dark spots and you know that kind of thing and then there was also an essence oh there's a pouch and then you also get a cream, which is also pouch. Yeah, so in total or overall, uh, whatever. Um, I think this was quite an okay box. Um, for my last ever new box global, I think it was, I would rate it probably seven out of 10. A lot of marks were taken off because the second, like, the last two products were samples, but then um, they said that they were only going to put like five products inside the boxes anyway, so kind of like the, the samples were just like extras. So yeah, um, that's the end of my unboxing, um, it felt like I got it for free because I paid for it so long ago. Um, I think it's quite an okay box, uh, Mi Box boxes are kind of dropping in quality um, and products are becoming more expensive and they're always marking up the prices so it's kind of not really worth it anymore. Uh, but anyways, I'm not really that sad that they're not shipping to Hong Kong anymore because we we do have a lot of these products in Hong Kong nowadays. Um, but the only reason I buy Mew boxes is so that I can try like a variety of them. And I have like this this disorder thing that um I it's really hard for me to choose what to buy if I'm given a large variety. So if I go to a shop and there's like ten of the same thing but different brands, it's really hard for me to kind of choose what to buy. And so Mew Box just picks the products for me and then I can try it. Um, and I don't have to fuss about what I'm going to buy. So I used to like buying Mimi boxes for this reason. And they were a good buy. But um, I guess the companies that they were working with, they kind of knew that their company was making a lot of money off them. And um, yeah, the quality of the boxes have dropped a lot. And I don't think I've missed out on a lot if they don't ship to Hong Kong anymore. So uh, the only thing that I'm sad about is I don't have motivation to do any more unboxing videos for my channel, but I'm sure I will be able to find something else to vlog about or to talk about. Uh, so yeah, that's the end of my unboxing video for today. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Thank you. Bye.